Ooh. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. So absolutely. So if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter, my Instagram, go have fun, enjoy yourself, etc. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos. I posted a video um, earlier this week ranking the songs on Fine Line, Harry Styles is Fine Line. And then before that, I posted a video talking about the VMAs. And then before that, I posted a video talking about Sims 4 Star Wars. Because that's happening, of course. Yeah, the lighting is really strange. Um, the world's on fire, so there's like no sun. I mean, there's sun, it's just hidden by smog and clouds. So that's why I look like this. Also, I haven't put my stuff up on the wall yet, so the walls are bare. We're ignoring all of that today. Because what are we doing today? Today we're doing another Let's Talk new releases. So I forgot to do this for like the past two months. My bad. I compl I, n listen, I had other things on my mind, but a lot of things have accumulated. So I have a lot to talk about today. So that could be a good thing for you or a bad thing for you. I'm not really sure. I'm going to scoot over. I'm way too close to the camera. I'm going to scoot over to put it right here. All right, let's get started. So we're going all the way back to July because I haven't done this since June. Mm, get on top of things. First thing, ColourPop released, again, this is like two months ago, uh, freckle pens. Um, I'm st I thought, because remember when faux freckles were a thing back in like 2017? I thought we'd move past that. I still think they're cute, but I didn't know companies were still going to be making stuff like that. So I guess they're making a comeback because I've seen like two freckle pens come out recently and I'm intrigued but I've always wanted to try them I just never thought they were dark enough for my skin tone but I'm my winter shade right now which is not sitting well with me at all so I don't go outside next so Patrick Starr came out with a makeup line um there was this setting spray and wipes oh no makeup taking off your makeup spray and wipes it's it's Go to, the, go to the store. Then he released a makeup palette, which I do not like. I don't like the way this looks um, at all. It's giving me color pop and I mean an insult when I say that. And then there are also these, what are these exactly? These are liquid eyeshadow like pen things. Those are cute. This looks like it could have come out in like 2017 um maybe we want to go back to that time i personally don't but it looks like this was supposed to come out back then it's a little late it looks like a color pop palette Moving on, so next, um, Rob Beauty Christie. Yeah, this is, I'm going back in time. Rob Beauty Christie had a collab with Pure, her um, double-sided palette. Um, I don't think I got this because the website was bugging and I was like, I have homework to do. So I'm not gonna stay on the website this whole time. This is very pretty. This is such a cute idea. I didn't know it was double-sided the entire time I was watching people's reviews on it. And then I saw it when she lifted it up and I was like, oh, that's a really skinny double-sided. Usually they're thick. Usually they're really, really big, but this one was like skinny. That's a good idea. And it was a cute palette. I don't know anything about Pure. I know nothing about Pure, but the palette was really cute. It looks like it was a good formula. I don't own it, so I don't know. Next. Next, um, so Midas Cosmetics. I showed you guys this. I don't know where I put it because I just got here. Um, Midas Cosmetics collab with Neon MUA um, to release like four face palettes. There's Dawn, Noon, Dusk, and Midnight. So I have the Midnight one. I was sent the Midnight one. Um, I'm probably going to order. I can use, the thing is with these. Okay, they're really buildable. So the Midnight, because I am my winter shade right now, the Midnight one is like a tad dark, but if I just use a lighter hand, it's fine. But I also could look into getting Dusk and using a heavier hand with that. They're really buildable. It's an excellent formula. And face palettes, hmm. People like to say, hmm, because they, they hate, you hate black people. You hate black people. Why don't you make face palettes in more than one shade? I have an absolute dismay with eye face palettes and with most face palettes because they will never ever work on me. How do you have a face palette and you put a bronzer in the face palette but there's only one version of your face palette? That doesn't make any sense. How do you have anything for your skin in one shade? 
You hate black people. And then when I say that, I get called all kinds of names. You don't like black people. None of you do. Anyway, moving on. This is a really good collection. I own it, so I own the Midnight Shade and it's me approved, so that's great. So then, next, um, P. Louise. Rose Lily sitting a palette. Okay. This um, is the size of a jewelry box. I'm not sure why in today's day and age we're making makeup, we're making eyeshadow palettes the size of jewelry boxes. I don't know why this is two inches wide. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not just making any sense of other people. Also, these swatches got a little wonky because they're showing a red and there's no red in this palette. Photoshop! Stop photoshopping your swatches. It's ridiculous. Also, Anytime I use P. Louise, I feel like I'm being called a slur. So I don't like being called slurs, so I don't use P. Louise. But this palette is cute, I guess. It's why is it so thick? I don't like I don't like that. It makes me incredibly uncomfortable. I do not like how it's so thick. Then at the end of July, um, Jackie Ina, her um, scented candles line, Forever Mood, came out. I own all these candles. Left on red is the best thing since sliced bread. What does it smell like? I do not know. I do not know. Left on red is the best thing since sliced bread. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like happiness and I burn it all the time. I think it's burning in the living room right now. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And the other one smelled good as well. I just left them at home. They're gonna be shipped to me. I only brought, I brought left on red in my um, checked bag because it smelled that good. And I was like, I have to have this at home. So that was that. Next, um, color. Um, color pop released a wild. Okay, this is color pop is back to their shenanigans that they were doing before that they got called out on, and then they stopped for like three months, and now they're back to releasing something every single week. Um, I would have no issue if they looked good. I would have no issue if they appealed to human eye. I would have no issue if there was something interesting about any of these palettes ever. Why does this look like a tumbleweed? You can, it's gonna be on your screen. This seems, cause it's, it's wild nothing. So they understand that there's no color in this palette. It's wild nothing, wild imagination. So they, so they get that. It's fine as long as you understand that that's what you're bringing to the table because it looks like a tumbleweed. This looks inspired by a collection of tumbleweeds and it makes me really, really upset. And I think the cactus is like helping me see my tumbleweed vision because this is genuinely infuriating. And there's, I don't know, they keep coming out with new types of products and then they discontinue all their products that work for dark skin tones. I also see that, stop doing that. Yep, this is ugly, but what else is new? I'm really sorry, but this is not cute at all. But it's old. Okay, next is Fenty Skin. Um, okay, so I have no interest in, I found a skincare routine that works for me. I've been using it, like adding some new products randomly, but it's been working for the past two years. So I'm not adding anything new. Um, also, the only thing I would be interested in is the sunscreen, the like moisturizer of a sunscreen. Cause again, I don't have sensitive skin, so like trying new skincare wouldn't really hurt me, but I don't want to in case it does. Does that make sense? Like I'm fine with my skin the way it is. There's some things I want to fix, but none of these products are like targeting things that I want to fix. It's a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer like whatever people said they liked it people said they didn't people were faking stuff people were making up stuff it's again every time it, it happens it's some, it's some mess but some people I've heard they really really like it so I hope if you bought it you really really like it I did not I have no interest in new skincare once I find something that, that works for me but that's the way it is okay Next product, um, so Nikita Dragon, I forget she has a beauty line, she does. No comment. So she came out with um, liquid lipsticks. Um, <laughs> these comments are not nice. <laughs> oh wow, okay. She came out with like a black shade, a red shade, and a nude shade. On God, nobody cares. I don't know if anyone bought these. I don't know. 
who exactly is buying from her makeup line. I, 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 that's not even shade. I don't know who's buying from her makeup line. That is not shade. That is just me simply like thinking about people and like inventory and thinking of how much of either that she has. Okay? So that's that. It's basic lipstick. So I have nothing to say on the actual product because it's basic lipstick. Next, so Morphe, the terrorist organization, has now created a subsection of their terrorist organization called Morphe 2. This, I think, is supposed to be geared, I think it's supposed to be like a Glossier adjacent. A lot of brands now have started to create Glossier adjacent products, which is great because, I mean, they work well. And they're doing the whole like skin tints, like that, very that. Very your skin but better. So I think this is targeted towards a younger audience. Also, they have the D'Amelio sisters, twin sisters, sisters, as they're like spokespeople. That's what they have. So this line came out a while ago. They have a skin tint, which the streets have been saying in silence that is it's very good. I have no idea. I have no idea. I will never possibly know. But the streets, my streets have been saying in secret and hiding the skin tint is actually very good. Is it? I don't know, but I believe them, so it probably is good. I have no interest in buying it, though. Um, none. At all. And they have, like, little glosses and, like, lip oils and, like, cream eyeshadows. It's giving... These, these are giving... You know those Maybelline, like, cream shadows that came out, like, years ago? That's what this is giving me, but probably, like, six times more expensive. It's fine. They don't even look that nice. But, you know, this is for the kids. This is for the kids. It don't have to look that nice if it's for the kids. So we'll just move on from that quickly. Next product, so House Laboratories. Um, let's just me go on a tangent here. Do they know what they're doing? This is not even a tangent. This is me being a, whoa, this chair is so small. This is me being a active consumer, a responsible consumer, which I'm not in real life. I'm not. Because, like, I'm not. I don't, know which one, I don't know which one I'm going to tell you. I'm not sure what House Labs is doing. I'm not sure where House Labs is going. I'm not sure if House Labs knows that it's Lady Gaga's makeup line. Because the products that they release, I don't think they know. They released this, um, like, pencil eyeliner. Like, it's 2014. And I said, I did say that I want more pencil eyeliners. What did I say though? I said in all colors, we've already, we're missing half the rainbow here. Cause every brand has the shades they picked. Every single brand has made these shades. It's like a bunch of the only mattes are like the warm browns or the black or like a deep eggplant color. And then everything else is a shimmer. Every single brand has a shimmer gold eyeliner pencil. I want a matte yellow. Every single brand has all the same shimmery greens. What happened to the matte sisters? What happened? Every brand has a shimmery bronze. What happened to an orange? That's what I'm saying. Because a lot of brands already have eye pencils. So why would I be asking for eye pencils if I wanted more of the same garbage? We need to move on. We need to move on. Pencil, gel pencil eyeliners in the same sad yellow gold, bronze gold, matte eggplant purple stuff. Go for something else. Try something different. That's my advice. Your owner is Lady Gaga. Try something different. Thank you so much. Next. So Be Perfect Cosmetics came out with a new Stacy. Marie MUA um, collaboration. I own this. It's sitting somewhere over there. It's very nice. All the Carnival palettes are really nice. Um, I have all of them. I don't know. This one, it's the same formula as the original version and the XL version. It's just slightly different colors. So honestly, just look at all three and see which one has the colors that you like and buy that one because you don't need all three. It's a nice palette though. And then um, Morphe again is came out with a main event collection. Mm, they're in a rut. I'm really happy actually. Not happy that, you know, business, they're probably, they're not doing badly. Morphe's never gonna do badly. But I'm interested to see with all of the mess that happened this summer, where Morphe wants to go. Are we gonna go down the same path? Because whatever path you're going down right now with this 24 A M. M collection of just headache is not the is not a good path. Why does this look like this? 
Why does this look like this? Gunmetal. It's 2009. What, what's, what's going on here? I think you guys are stuck. So I would advise something changing in the next couple of weeks. Anyways, so then Fenty Beauty released two more palettes of their snap shadows. Um, I don't know if people lied on here about that. I'm not sure. The snap shadows are not good. Um, I have never tried the like original Fenty palettes. I've only ever tried their snap shadows. It was a cute idea. I think I still think it's a really cute idea. I just think their formula is not very good. I just think their eyeshadow formula is not good. It's not awful. You will get color payoff with them. It's just not good. It's not god awful. You're gonna get an eyeshadow look with them. You can, but it's not good. It's not worth it. It's not worth however much these cost. They're twenty five dollars each. That's like not. That's that's not that bad. But they're not. They're not good enough. Maybe these have a different formula. I don't think they do. But the ones that I tried, the original ones that came out, were not good. I don't know about the original Moroccan eyeshadow palette, but I heard that got bad reviews too. So I'm just like, I don't think Fenty's thing is eyeshadow. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. But yeah, I'm not buying those. I don't really know if anyone else should either. Next, Colored Rain came out with a ju Juicy Boost collection. There's like two eyeshadow palettes. Yep, there's like a bigger one and a smaller one. This is really cute. Um, has nothing that I don't already own, which is why I'm not going to buy it. Color Rain's eyeshadow formula is incredible. Um, their Queen of Hearts palette is one of my favorite of all times. And their Vivid Pigments palette, which I think they're bringing back sometimes soon. It was like their pressed pigment palette. That palette's really good too. Their formula is incredible. It's just I already own all these colors. And I'm, I'm trying to be a responsible consumer. It's not always working. But since I already own all these colors, there's no need for me to bring them back into my life. Right? Okay, next, um, was someone's gonna want me to talk about this, um, Y'all's King, the Scarecrow, the King Gazelle, released another palette. Um, I've discussed how I think most of his palettes are ugly. Um, so this one's called the Orgy Collection. It's a neutral palette. It's a neutral palette, has some very questionable names. Heard people have like cat hair and rodent feces in theirs. It's what you get. I don't know <laughs> how someone could feel bad for someone who paid money for a Jeffree Star palette. I don't get that. I don't get how I'm supposed to feel bad for you if you got like dog hair in it. Like I don't know what you, what, what did you think was gonna happen? Anyways, yeah, it's just a neutral palette with some really questionable names and it makes me heavily uncomfortable to see him like widespread like that. So I'm gonna move on. Next, so Hip Dot Cosmetics released a collaboration with Face by Kareem. This palette is really pretty. I think I ordered it. Not sure at this point, but this palette is really pretty. It's a cute neutral palette and it comes with brushes. It comes with brushes, ooh. That is nice. That's a very cute palette. That's very cute. Okay. Next, so Urban Decay. We don't know when this is coming out as of right now. They're coming out with a uh, tinted moisturizer. Urban Decay, let's look at, let me go to the next thing. Urban Decay is also, let's start bad and then let's get to worse. Urban Decay is using Normani as their spokesperson for this stoned collection. I wish Urban Decay would leave me the hell alone. I wish they would leave me the hell alone unless it's about a skin product, which they did put in here. So I'm like, I'm gonna give you a break for that. Stoned collection, really? It's like, um, a bunch of shimmers like we're in preschool it's a bunch of shimmers in like it looks like a paint cartridge and they're supposed to look like crystals i don't know how old you think we are i don't i really don't because this is very childish this palette is very childish I, it could be gorgeous it could be the shades could be incredible for all i know and for all i care but the way it looks it looks cheap and for preteens I'm not sure that's what you want, but that's the way it looks to me at least. But they're also coming out with a 
Tinted Glow Hydrator. I'm choosing to have faith in this. I, it could become, it could come out in a week and I would have to retract everything I said, but I'm choosing to have faith in this. Cause they had, Normani is our spokesperson. They have to have Normani shade, right? And I would hope that hers wouldn't be the darkest, but it's most likely gonna go that way. I'm choosing to have faith because Urban Decay does have good um, skin, like a base products. They do. So I would have, I have faith in them that they would release a tinted moisturizer that's actually not like ridiculousness. That's actually not something that's just a figment of your imagination and dreams and hopes and dreams putting on your face. I would hope they would be able to do that. I'm choosing to have faith. I'm choosing. Could go poorly, but I'm choosing to have faith. Um, Natasha Denona came out with liquid eyeshadows. I don't know what year it is, but they're pretty. They're probably like $70. Oh, they're $28. They're cute. I'm not buying this. Next, ColourPop again. Terrorism. Came out with a Sunflower collection. It's like a marigold palette. Um, they did this like three years ago, four years ago. They did this exact thing. Um, they keep coming out with, it's, it's this, it's the same thing. It's a palette, a couple of lip glosses, which in there with the, I think they still have the like brush applicator, which is the worst applicator out of them all. So change that as soon as possible. Yeah, that's not cute. It's just, it's, it's simply just not. Then Alamar Cosmetics coming out with a Spanglish collection. So there's a primer, there's an eyeshadow primer which I think I bought this. I don't know when it's coming though. And there's an eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is adorable. This eyeshadow palette is small. It's small and it's very pretty. The shimmers are really pretty. And I saw some of my friends use it who have deep skin makeup by Shania. She used it in her Instagram post that was either today or yesterday. And it was very pretty, so I bought it. Period, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. That's just the way it is. Next, um, Too Faced is still alive, doing a pumpkin sp leave me the hell alone. Um, I would think Too Faced should disband. Pumpkin Spice. Okay, so you know how people like to skip to the holidays, so we're all like, make a Halloween palette. This is not what I meant. This is not what I meant. You can make, Halloween is an interesting holiday, so why don't you make interesting palettes? It's an interesting season, so why don't you make interesting palettes? Why do you have no creativity? Why does this look the way it does? Uh, secondly, Too, Too Faced's eyeshadow formula rubs me the wrong way. Gives me very chalk. Gives me just gives me powder, talcum powder. I don't enjoy that in my life. And the palette is ugly. We're losing. To why are you allowing yourself to lose twice? It's. Uh, didn't they make this already? Probably. It's time to disband. Moving on, so Kylie released this, this was in August? She released this 4th of July looking palette at the very end of August. That's very stupid. Maybe it was because of Corona, but that's just, that's just not smart. It's an, it's a collection, but I only saved the eyeshadow palette in this, in this like bookmarks thing. No comment. Now, Melt Cosmetics. Melt knows how to package a product. Okay? See, the only one who knows how to package a product. They came out with these blush highlighter duos in three different shades. I got two of them. I think they're on their way here today. It's like a highlighter and a blush, but both of them are shimmery, so it's probably going to look like a highlighter on me. They're just very pretty. And using bees and honeycombs is genius. They know how to brand. Wow. They're the cool brand. Um, I hope another company also knows that, but that title has been lost to you a very long time ago. Oopsie. Next, Tau Tower 28. I just got these in the mail. These are milky jelly glosses, so I ordered the almond one, and I ordered the clear one. I've worn the clear one because I'm on the, I'm on the hunt for the perfect gloss. We have a contender because I wore it and I ate and stuff for like three hours and it was still there. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my entire life because gloss usually goes. Gloss goes, but that stayed and it felt very comfortable. So I got the almond one so I wanted to try one of their colored ones later. I haven't tried it yet though, but the formulation of the clear one was very nice. So I can't give you 
my thoughts on the milky ones but I bought the almond one because it seemed like the prettiest color it's like a deep brown I think yep that's cute next bite beauty just released I think a couple of days ago these plumping lip glosses they came out with an interesting set of color none of the so I don't like super pigmented glosses I don't think they look weird on me I think super pigmented glosses look strange on me so I don't buy them often I buy sheer with a with like a tint of color and all of these are like really pigmented except for the clear with um, gold glitter ones so I'm hesitant but I want to try this applicator I want to try the formula because I'm trying to find the best gloss in the entire world so I think I'll have to try one of them but they're just lip glosses that's it that's it Next, so Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials collaborated literally out of nowhere. This came out of nowhere. On this eyeshadow palette, it's very pretty. That's all I have to say on that. It's very pretty. I do not remember if I got this or not because this was also another weird release lawn situation. It was like, ugh, I don't remember if I got this or not. I think I did. It's very pretty. It's a cute palette. It's very cute packaging. Um, what else am I supposed to say? The names are really sweet. It's something different, at least. At least it's something different. Because it took, it's took the rainbow and put an edge on it, which I do appreciate. Because, you know, we've advanced past rainbow palettes, but I bought the Be Perfect one, so you can mind your business about that. Um, but it's a cute palette. It was a great, it's a good twist on the rainbow of years past. Excellent job. Next, ColourPop again is coming out with Face and Body Bronzing Balm. This is from their subsection Soul Beauty. Um, I would love to see a deep dark shade swatched on a deep dark arm because seeing it on a Caucasian arm does nothing for me. But um, it looks deep. Again, it's on a white person, so I have no idea how deep this actually is. It's like a creamy balm bronzer is basically what this is. Um, I have no interest in it. Um, I have no interest in this. I don't know how this would dry down. It says it's a cream. It says it's a velvety smooth, soft focus, silky finish. Sounds like a bunch of hooey to me. I don't know how that actually dries down. I hope it dries down nice because with those products, it can go left really. My example, the Fenty Cream Bronzers, I did despise because they're, all right, so you can either pick it up with a brush or you can pick it up with your fingers and then put it on your hand and then do the whole shebang. I've tried both. The texture is just strange. It's supposed to be the same velvety, creamy, balmy form. It, it looks bad. It looks bad. It applies weird. Now, if you put your brush into the, if you put your brush into the product, it leaves these marks. It's gross. Those bronzers were a dud for me personally. The blushes were decent. Um, they're very wet. They make your face look very moist and it wasn't I'm not the biggest fan of that but some of them are better than others honest to god but that's why I'm hesitant to try any more creamy bronzy ex adjacent materials because it just was gross it looks so funky once you used it once and the texture wasn't even that great and the shades for the cream bronzers in my opinion were a little strange a little strange a lot of big jumps a lot of big gaps a lot of chin no I didn't like that at all that was just a tangent but like I didn't like that at all Natasha Denona is back again with a glam palette I don't like cool tones at all now someone's gonna leave my comments try new things mind your business I don't like cool tones so why would I spend I also do not like her formula for this I've tried I tried the love palette you know why I tried the love palette is because everyone was like try Natasha Denona's like palette try her eyeshadow formula so I go on to Sephora those big palettes are 200 some odd dollars obviously we skip right past and we find one that is 65 dollars it's cute a cute Valentine's Day theme I come home I try it it's ass so what like so you you're done for me and this palette is not cute guys I don't know why first of all where am I supposed to use it? 
I can use um, the shade Lash Line, Smoke, I don't know how dark that shade actually is. It's just, I also just don't like cool tones. It's a lot of stark differences between my skin. I, 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 I personally do not enjoy that. Not at all. Next, Milk Makeup is coming out with a Hydro Grip Spray. I'm not sh I think it's a setting and refreshing spray that sets makeup, hydrates skin, and provides a glassy glow. So, this is supposed to be like the primer, but in setting spray form. We, I have faith. I'm choosing to put faith because the primer, the primer is really sticky. That's why I like it. It helps your makeup stay on for a super long time. So that element in a setting spray could be great. The glassy skin, because when people be saying their setting sprays are like really dewy, they're really, really, really dewy. Like, I don't know if you anyone ever bought the abh dewy setting spray that is a really like you're gonna be dewy after there's no sense of matte in sight when you use that so i'm one but there's also the fenty beauty dewy spray that they came out with which nobody talked about excellent spray that which came out it gives you dew but it's um realistic you don't look more you don't look wet you don't look ridiculous with that one. With the ABH one, you look a little funky. I'm wondering on what side of the spectrum is this milk one going to be? Because I don't think the Hydro Grip personally makes you look ridiculously dewy. It does add a little bit of glow, but not too much. So I'm hoping it's going to be more like the Fenty one and not like the ABH one because that was not going to work out well for me. Okay? Okay, next. Um, Morphe again. Morphe again is coming out with a Madison Beer collection. Okay. Um, I know who Madison Beer is from Vine. I'm not sure w at what point, at what place in social media celebrity realm she is currently at. I know who Madison Beer is from Vine. That's it. So if, if she has gone up or down since then, I have no idea. Because when I hear Madison Beer, I think of Vine. Okay? So let me preface that. But I heard she's might be or like an it girl amongst the preteens. I'm not sure. Why would you give someone this palette? Again, this is this looks like Tati Beauty's The Volume, which I actually like. That looks like this. It looks like this palette. Or it's giving me the same vibes of this palette as in aged not in a bad way just like very mundane very now am i expecting them to release some sort of rainbow hodgepodge for madison beer no but i was not expecting is this what morphe's trying to do now because this just doesn't look good they changed the like their um it looks like a maybelline palette they changed the pans, they're like rectangles now. Um, they added a new font to be different. It's giving me drugstore, not in a good way, never in a good way for Morphe on their particular hand. I'm just wondering, y'all couldn't have added, I'm surprised they didn't do their little throw in of green or blue. There's like an olive green in here. I'm wondering where it all went wrong. I'm wondering, was this supposed to be someone else's collection they dropped out and put Madison Beer in? Because usually their collabs are, they'll get something right. Like that Maddie Ziegler collab that came out at the very beginning of the summer actually looked kind of good. And it kind of, I mean, I don't know what Maddie Ziegler is doing now. I know her from Dance Moms. It looks like something that she could have created. I, she probably just put her name on it, but it looks like something that she could have created herself. It was very, it had a good, it, it met the target audience. If Madison Beer is a, a big thing amongst the preteens, why would you pick this? That's just my, that's just my question behind it is why you would pick this if this is supposed to be amongst the preteens. But I'm not a makeup person really. And then speaking of more Morphe, they came out with more stuff for their Morphe 2 line. Like a brow gel, a lip gloss, a like liquid highlighter, and a lip scrub. They're trying to do glossier adjacent and it's like 
gonna work probably it's a good pivot point I think especially now to pivot to a Glossier adjacent because Glossier it's not that they haven't had any competition for the kind of makeup they make but they kind of haven't had any like very like if you wanted your skin but better I'm like okay go try Glossier but now there's like many different brands that you could go try it's changed in like the past like literally just year and a half because right after that euphoria came out and all that kind of stuff humongous shift who knows if we're gonna go back what's next so Huda Beauty is coming out with these new mini palettes I quite enjoy Huda Beauty I will give her her credit for this that her miniature nude palettes how she came up with three different shades of them best thing I've ever seen I don't know why everyone doesn't just do that best thing I've ever seen so I look at this again she's coming out with like a it's supposed to be like fall winter colors um this is the Fenty snap shadows <laughs> these are the Fenty snap shadows that were on your screen before um however this is probably gonna be better formula than them from what my experience with Huda Beauty's eyeshadows and Fenty Beauty's eyeshadows this is gonna be the better formula it also it's only four more dollars actually which I was um that was very surprising there's a brown one a mauve one and like a khaki one yeah good luck with that these are the same thing as the snap shadows just there's an extra one now oopsie then there was a pat mcgrath supreme lipstick i have no interest in any of that anymore i don't a supreme lipstick i don't know that's not for me also didn't it sold out in like three seconds um because it's supreme and because of bots so Good luck if you got one, but I don't think most people did. And yeah, then the last thing, right? This is my last thing. Because who knows? Something probably launched while I was filming this video because they're kind of nuts. Was Rare Beauty. So in my last video, which was me ranking the songs on Hairstyles of Spine Line, I did my first impressions on Rare Beauty. I tested, ooh, brother, the primer, the foundation, the concealer the highlighters the blush that's what i tested and so i think i said my favorite product as of now those liquid blushes um are going to change the game i don't know how long it's going to take but they're going to change the game um like significant those liquid blushes are amazing the liquid highlighter I said this in this video that video as well if you were part of like the liquid highlighter craze in back in 2017 you are really gonna like those liquid highlighters because what it does it takes the same elements of that phase like just wanting a super large glow but it's already blurred out for you you don't have to do a lot of work with a liquid I think they're called illuminizers you don't have to do a lot of work with them like we had to do because in 2017 you just kind of and leave it and think it looks good no this blurs it out for you it's a lot better the foundation I have tried with my regular foundation routine and I like that a lot better I do not like the primer there it's one of those primers that's basically a liquid highlighter just like toned down so that's why I don't like the primer because I don't like primers like that I tried the setting spray it didn't do much for me that's okay it's a regular setting spray what else was there the concealer has a really interesting wand it's a really skinny wand um, I liked it though because it could get right here really really easily and I just ordered another color because that one was a little close to my skin tone so I got another color scent and it m might work I'm gonna try it out again but yeah the liquid blushes are the game changer item game changer item game because those work those work those work and though and they show up and they wow if you get anything i would say get the liquid blushes because i am now i'm on the hunt now i'm on the hunt for the perfect lip gloss and the perfect blush so over the past like couple of months i've been testing out different blushes trying to figure out which one works the best for me and now I've added because with the Glossier this is a I'm going off on something random with Glossier I was like their cloud paints are like decent but I'm like let me find something better and then Rare Beauty got announced and they came out with skin stuff which I did say in that video Selena has really nice skin you should stick to skin stuff I did say that in that video 
and this makes sense and they're pretty and they work that's on period so that's my final thoughts not final because it's only been like a week but those are my thoughts on rare beauty i think the collection is really nice if you're interested in makeup and you want to try if you were looking for another everyday foundation that's the rare beauty line is kind of like it's like a skin your skin but better line but the foundation and concealer actually give you coverage it's not one of those like you put it on and it's like imagination that's why particularly i did not like glossiers i only liked the cloud paint because the skin tint that i tried the concealer that i tried imagination figments of pigment it was not real that stuff is actually like it's gonna show up on your face which I really really do enjoy so yeah that's it in my video um that was long I think that was my let's talk new releases so where are we at at this point in time right now um brands I think they've stopped scrambling brands have stopped scrambling because they have they've the time to pretend about black people has run out. We can see that with how you guys engage with black creators, engage with black influencers, how brands engage with them. The times of fake caring are over. They are now like, okay, that's perfect. We don't have to fake care about black people anymore. So now we can get back to producing collections that nobody wants to see, things that are not interesting, things that are ugly. Let's go back to regularly scheduled programming. We're back to regularly scheduled programming in the beauty community, right? Okay. But I think that's a bad thing because we have holiday season coming up and I'm not, I've already, because they're already posting like their holiday sets and stuff as in like it's not September already. I don't know how it's been this many years of like a very active makeup community and you still ignore fall palettes. It's very strange to me. Or you give money, me ugly ones and they're only coming from Too Faced. Like when will I ever know peace? We're Halloween collections. Y'all have a month figure something else out and I don't it's gonna be ugly but I can't control other people's actions I can't do it and you can't do it so we're gonna move on so yeah that is the end of my video oh an update on products that I've used Lori Laura Mercier honey powder powder is the only thing I've been using for the past since I bought it Laura Mercier powder is good I forgot how good it was and now that they have a shade that is not that stark white or the really deep brown it's really helping me that's what Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty did a lot right a lot right but having like they weren't the first brand to have I just tapped my desk instead of counting it out loud having like six or seven different shades of your powder Brands have done that before but like that really that's a beauty no more no more one shade two shades three shades it needs to be a minimum five because no but that Laura Mercier powder is excellent I like the shade it's a very it's because the translucent color was so white on me it worked on other people I don't know how it works on other people but it was stark white on me and I hated it so much but this one I really do enjoy is that it because I've been talking for like a considerably long time Ugh. And I haven't done because it's because I haven't done one of these in such a long time. Because I was trying to, I usually do them before I put up a different type of video, but this video that I'm doing is taking a long time. So I'm like, just get this up now before it get turned into like three months, and this would be an hour long. So that's it on that. That's it on my video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to follow social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos that should be on your screen now. Go enjoy yourself. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me. I hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your homes. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.